You are not going to want to miss this opportunity because if you capitalize on this correctly, you'll be able to make a ton of dimes this week with a simple trick. This clan battle is a major opportunity for us to capitalize on those who are trying to win and make ourselves rich in the process. And the awesome thing about this method is that you really don't need a ton of diamonds to start. You could literally start flipping this with some of the lowest tier things that I'm about to show you. And the demand is still going to be absolutely crazy. Today, I'm going to talk about what that opportunity is and how you can best capitalize on it, no matter what level you are at. And if this video helps you, remember to give it a like and subscribe for tips on how to get better and make more diamonds when playing Pet Simulator 99. We have exactly a week left to do this, so let's get right into it and let me show you what you guys need for this method. All right, you guys, so if you didn't know already, the current clan battle involves using this glitched computer machine behind me to create the most glitched gifts during this time frame. Now, that means that these clans need to create the gifts and not open them, which is a major distinction that we'll go over in a second. But basically, all you need to know is that clans need the cores and that's it. If somebody in a clan goes ahead and uses a mythical core, for example, and creates one gift, that's going to give them 10 points for their clan. And whichever clan has the most points at the end of this battle is going to win. And that's basically all it is. And of course, with how the pet simulator community is, everybody is upset that this clan battle is a pay to win clan battle but let me tell you guys why this is actually a great thing for the vast majority of other players well first of all pet simulator is a completely pay to win game so i don't know why this is coming as a surprise of course the top clans in the game are going to be able to pay to win i don't think we've truly had a single non-pay to win clan battle yet and personally, I like this clan battle a whole lot more than the past two that was basically just clans using macros to automate the game itself. And the number two reason is that these clan members that are trying to win are going to be spending millions and billions of diamonds in order to try to win. And those diamonds are going to the rest of the players in the game, which is overall great for the economy and good for them. Now, there are a couple ways that you can get these cores. Most commonly, these things do just drop from breakables. So you can just get them from grinding the final area or doing that new treasure hideout area. That area also gives you a ton of drops. So it is pretty good for getting these as well. I think there are a couple other ways you can get them. You can get them from the secret keys and you can also get them from this tech chest. So as you can see, the epic glitch cores, but you can get all the way up to mythical, I'm pretty sure. But the reason we can finally do this method is I'm going to have on the screen here. This is the chart of the prices of these cores, and they have finally breached a stable point where they're no longer dropping, which means we have a great opportunity right now to be buying these and flipping them to the clan members that are looking for a ton of them. And because people are just able to get these from drops, pretty much everybody in the game is going to have them. They're going to be trying to underprice them at wrap to just get them sold pretty quickly. And this is going to be an amazing opportunity for us to quickly flip and get tons of diamonds while doing it. Now, the essential thing you have to keep track of when doing this method is the overall prices that it takes to actually craft one of these gifts. So if we look in my inventory, I actually have one of these glitch gifts here, and you can see the wrap value is 1.13 million. And the overall value of these things is just gonna continue to drop as clans begin to craft more and more and more of these gifts. But I'm gonna have on the screen here, which is the chart for how much it actually costs at the current wrap value to create these gifts. And if you notice currently right now, the blue cores are currently the cheapest way to make the gift at a price point of 1.5 million, which means that every clan that is crafting these is losing out 400k on each of those gifts that they make. Now, obviously, this is because they do not care at all about the gifts, and all they want is to be able to get those points for the battle and hopefully be able to become number one. Now, obviously, all these prices are going to change over time within this week leading up to the end of the clan battle. But it is important to keep track of which ones are going to be the cheapest for ending up crafting the gift bags. And that's because clans are looking at a certain price point for being able to craft these things. And on top of that, they're going to be trying to buy these in absolute bulk because they want as many of these as possible 
and it takes forever to hop plazas and look for these things. So clan members that find them are most likely going to be buying them in extreme bulk. So if you're able to get a bunch of them stacked up, they are definitely going to be willing to overpay. So for example, if you look at this chart with the current price that the blue cores are at, it would cost 1.5 million to make one of these gifts. Now with the other costs of these cores, it would cost them over 2 million. So most clans would most definitely be willing to pay a premium for these cores. So most clans will be willing to overpay for these blue cores because of the other prices that the other cores are charging. So if the next cheapest core that it takes to make a glitch gift is over 2 million, people are going to be willing to spend more than wrap value on those blue cores so that they can get closer to that value. So if we take out our calculator and for example, if we were charging 80k for these blue cores and we multiplied that by the 25 it takes to actually make the gift, that's only going to be 2 million, which is still less of a cost than both the legendary cores and those green cores. Now, keep in mind, we still do have seven days till this clan battle, but starting today, because of how the prices stop dropping for the cores, this is when we could start using this method. So at the time of recording this video, buying those blue cores are the sweet spot, because if you're able to find them for under wrap or even just buy them at wrap, you can do at least a 25% wrap flip on that and sell them for a a lot more because people are still saving money by buying those at a premium now obviously the blue cores are just the ones to use right now with the current prices of everything but if you want to figure out this cost to craft on your own obviously all you have to do is multiply the price of each core by how many it actually takes to make it so it takes 500 core points to make a single gift so obviously with the five point glitch cores, you're going to need a hundred of these. And that's why it's going to cost you 2.1 million. I also didn't include in the cost on this chart, the 50 K craft fee, because each of the cores is going to cost 50 K no matter what. So it doesn't really matter about this fee. Now that's just one part of the strategy. The other part of the strategy is just constantly server hopping in the trading plaza, looking for underpriced deals on all of these types of cores. Now, personally, the past day, this is what I've been doing and I've honestly been able to make a very good profit because clans are most definitely willing to pay whatever the wrap value is for each of these cores. So if you're able to find somebody that's just selling a bunch of these for a deal after they just got done grinding with all their alts, you can make some really good diamonds by just flipping those for wrap value. But of course, you can also get above wrap value for some of the other ones, like the basic glitch cores or the epic glitch cores. And that's because of what we talked about earlier with how much cheaper it is to use those to craft the gifts at the moment. Now, obviously, that will change as the prices of these cores change, but you're just going to have to keep track of that yourself. But I will have a copy of this Google Sheet on my Discord if you do want access to that, if you just want to do it the lazy way. And unless you're in a clan that is like top five or has a chance to even win any of these top 10 gifts, I would most definitely be selling the heck out of these cores because you want to capitalize on these free diamonds, which aren't going to last long because we only have seven days left in this battle. And personally, I've been making an extra couple hundred million a day by grinding and getting these cores. Any grinding build that's focusing on items right now is super good so you can make as many of these cores as you possibly can again i'm a huge fan of this clan battle because i've gotten a ton of extra diamonds each day by just doing what i was regularly doing i honestly hope that every clan battle is something like this so we can constantly be getting diamonds from those richest players let me know down in the comment section if you like this clan battle and how much diamonds you've made just from selling these cores. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are able to make a ton of diamonds off this method. I'll see you in the next one. And if you think this method is low scale, you can actually do this method I talked about in this video combined with my last egg flipping method to make a ton of diamonds. So make sure you check out that video. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.